Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Welcome back to my OGs. I appreciate you for stopping by. Uh, today we are going thrifting at Goodwill because y'all know that's what I love to do. And uh, we're gonna go find some treasures and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna, I'm gonna share with you what I found. Uh, I did have Josie with me on this day and she found something too. Uh, she, was, she didn't find any clothes, which was a bummer, uh, but she did find a little something to bring home. So let's go thrifting. <laughs> This desk is so cute. It's $29.99. Look at this gorgeous paint. It's very pink. By Cox. It's $12.99 and there's another pretty one right there. That's just a print though. Lots of good baskets today. This one is not longer burger, but it's $3.99 and in great shape. This creel right here is $6.99. That's a pretty nice shape too. That's a cool basket right there as well. Apple basket. Today was a fun day. I don't remember the order in which I found these items, but I did find something really cool. Uh, this was a dollar ninety nine, and I picked it up. I'm gonna just pull up my sleeves a little bit. <laughs> it was a dollar ninety nine, and you're gonna see why I like it because it is a little brass duck. Candle holder, tapered candle holder. It is so cool. It was $1.99 and I just love this little guy. I searched and searched for its mate, didn't find it, but I didn't mind. He is a cool little piece to add to my brass candlestick collection. I think he's really cool. I like him a lot. <laughs> Next up, I found a bowl. This was actually in the plant dish section. It was $1.49 and it was just really cool. It looks like it may have been hand carved and it looks like somebody did have a plant in there at one point in time. There's the price tag on it. Love that, $1.49, can't beat it. And this is what the bowl looks like. I just think it is really cool. On the inside, it does have a glaze on it, but on the outside, it does not. So I'm just like, that's thinking that's maybe a waterproofing. There's no mark on the bottom. I don't know that it's any like great thing, but I thought it was really cool. So I brought it home. I don't know why, but I can't pass up a really cool bowl. <laughs> Love those things. Then I did find something really cool. This was $4.99. And it is a longer burger basket and it has it looks like an initials maybe sg 2003 this is what the bottom looks like i'll see if i can't show you that mark there we go it looks like that and it's just a nice little square basket and i didn't think 4.99 was too bad for a longer burger basket because usually my goodwill will uh, overprice a longer burger basket for like 15 dollars like $14.99 or something. So I snatched that up. We always can use another basket. Moving right along, I'm gonna share with you this thing that Josie found. Josie really super duper wants <laughs> a pastel pink, soft pink bedroom with like Hello Kitty and hearts and all that kind of stuff all over her bedroom. This was $1.99 and she saw this. It is vintage. It's an it's the uh, ballerina from the Nutcracker Suite, and I did see on here um, 1991 from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, which is kind of cool. It's kind of uh, local, not too too far away, over just on the other side of the cities. But how cool is that? 
Um, and it says right in the back, this is not a child's toy. It does look like you can hang it. So I'm not sure what Josie's going to do with it. But she saw that. She's like, I've got to have it. I was like, all right, you can have it. It's pretty cool. I like it. She can definitely do something fun with that. Then I found the most beautiful cookbook. It's called American Classics. And the subtitle says, would you make 28 meringue pies to find the best version? We did. Here are more than 300 exhaustively tested recipes for America's favorite dishes. And it looks like this. This is the cover. But when you take it off, I always look at the spines. This is such a beautiful, simple cookbook. I'm really excited about it. Um, not just because it's beautiful though, because like they're Amer classic American dishes where they tested a whole bunch of them and give you the best of the best, right? But not only that, um, I have some pages marked in here. Uh, they have like a whole page on the backstory of the recipe. So the one I have marked here is called Rhubarb Fool, and it will give you like a whole blurb about how that recipe came into being. And it says, uh, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, I'm just gonna read you the first paragraph. It says, Rhubarb Fool. Fool is a quick everyday dessert that originated along with its quaint and quirky name in Britain. When we decided to try out this, when we decided to try out our hand at this simple dessert, essentially cooked fruit with sweetened whipped cream folded in, we sided with tradition and used rhubarb as the cooked fruit foundation. So um, that is how they came into, you know, their decisions. But it tells you like a whole little blur, like I just read you the first paragraph there, right here, but it's like all this. Some of them have like a whole page. See, here's banana pudding. And then the recipe will probably, yep, it, the recipe is right there. And then there's um, a meringue part to it. So I just love that. And here's a rice pudding. I love rice pudding. Um, so that's exciting. I can't wait to dip in a little bit deeper into this cookbook. But then I thought I would share something with you guys. If you know anything about me, you are, you are going to know. I was super excited. My sister sent me a gift. My mom sent me a gift too, but I'm gonna wait and show you that at a later date. Um, but my sister sent me a gift in the mail and look, it's the secret garden. <laughs> I love it. And it looks, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this book. She found it at an antique store. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this fine. I'll block out my face, so hopefully you can see it. Uh, this was, uh, let's see, uh, is from 1988, but look at the <laughs> illustrations. Let's see if I can't find you some really good ones here. Um, there's one. And then you guys know how I feel about secret gardens. It's all because of this book. <laughs> I, I actually have not ever read the book. I watched the movie growing up. Um, but I will read this one. I cannot wait. I mean, it's just, you know, I just can't wait to read it. It's so fun. This is totally my jam. <laughs> Love it. And the cover in the back, like, see it's green. I think it used to be pink. And it, no, I bet it used to be green and then it faded to pink. Or maybe it's supposed to be like that. Highly doubt it though. But yeah, I was really excited to uh, get that book. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because you guys would know how I felt about it. <laughs> but that is what I picked up at the thrift store today and my gift for my sister. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I totally appreciate you. I know that our moments aren't promised. So you choosing to spend your moments here with me on my YouTube channel. 
It just means the world to me. Thank you. And if you like this video, you'll like this one, I'm pretty sure. And you can subscribe right here. Mwah. Bye, guys.